What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be on our fun to play series here, and there's quite a few things for us to try to get done. Number one being, we're just going to jump right into it, we've been saving up our gold, uh, we've been saving up our gems, and honestly this uh, New Year growth plan has had a couple things of gold, it's going to even have more gold later on, that has been a huge help. I've already taken the time and done a few, a few things, a few things, we just had our monthlies reset, which is cool, we'll get the other profit orbs here this week. I already did uh, some of my fusions, got like our 9 and 10 stars done mainly to get the gems and some of this other, the gold and all this loot. We still have to do our regular stuff, but uh, we also grinded up to broken spaces level 4. The grues are kind of too tough for us, so we're not going to do it. And of course, we got some more gold from our Brave Trial. Now, number one, what we're going to do is we are going to start by upgrading to a mage set of gear. That's going to take 4,000 of our gems and 100 million of the gold. So right off the bat, we're doing that. We're getting the mage set. That is going to give our boost pretty much to our homes young. Now, we are also going to go for uh, for the set. Actually, do we get anything for doing this? I can't remember. Oh, no, you have to bake three sets before you get it. So here's the trouble we're going to be in next. Um, in order to get a six star set of gear we're gonna have to grind up a lot i think because i think the only thing we have on a hero right now is legitimately just that oof that's brutal uh that is actually brutal so we have this class set of gear i'm thinking maybe we go for upgrading the stone to get more stats at this point the other thing i've done is i've started a fiona project but again we only have four star gear in our bag and if we take a look at our equipment bag here like we can only make one set of five star gear so in order to get resonance gear we're going to need another six star set of gear <sighs> that is going to be an absolute pain we're gonna have to grind up so part of the reason why i'm talking about this is during this event honestly i think we're going to go for some more scrolls and such um I think, I, of course, I want to do summons, and now that we had the monthlies reset, we do have some bag space. I literally, like, made as much bag space as possible. I made all this food. I made the 10 stars, <clears throat> honestly, a little prematurely, but again, I wanted to get those gems. We could always regress them, so that's an option, but what we're going to start out today is I think we're going to do uh, some summons, and then we're going to try to do Sea Land and Aspen Dungeon Progression And now that we have a stronger Holmes Young. You never know. We did, of course, get a super early Elena. So if we can get more of them, that would be sweet. Uh, otherwise, this is just going to be for food and monthly progression to get that gold. And hopefully maybe get some gems off of this somehow as well. We got a five-star right there with the Aiden. Could we somehow high roll another early Elena? Of course, it's like on our free-to-play where there's like no chance we ever build that hero. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but it is the one we get it on um yeah this is gonna be difficult guys heroic scrolls on a free-to-play account has to be one of the most torturous annoying things you will ever experience in your lifetime <laughs> i wonder what our four stars look like we do have quite a few so we're gonna have to do something uh interesting here where we're gonna have to try well, I guess in this situation, we need to make space. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to use all of those fodder heroes, all these four-star shards, while using our three stars up. So we're going to continue to use these shards. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, no. We're going to have to get rid of some. Man, these five here. I guess we can unlock one of these now. We don't need to keep you around anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... We can do this but we got to make room for one making room for one all right um <laughs> and maybe we can just kind of do this over and over again we can summon you out which means we can do a fusion here this is the best way because you, of course three star shards are going to be difficult for you to come by uh so whenever you have an event like this where you do have tons of three star shards coming in you need to try to use your four stars up right here get some fusions done um yeah, honestly, we can just keep cashing these guys in. It's going to be slow, but it will pay off. Trust me. It definitely will be because we have tons of three stars. This will be good for us. I can guarantee it. Do that. We'll do that. Now we could probably go back to some summons. Yeah, we've kind of, well, I mean, we could keep going here. 
You actually could just keep going and get a couple more fusions done and then get more three stars. Because if we have an overabundance of four stars, that's not a big deal so long as we have bag space. Uh, no, we can do like a 10 bomb here. That might help us out, get some three stars that we need that then make us give us a fusion here. Probably do it again, because again, if we get the three stars actually do pay off for us because we need them for some of these fusions. There we go. Uh, let's take a look and see where we're at. So we need some three stars. We have like no four stars, though. Well, I guess that depends on which faction we're talking about, because some of them we do have a lot. Uh, let's just do some summons here. Let's see where we're at. After a couple more here, we got a Barria copy. We are full yet again. Can we do any fusions? No, we can't. So let's take a look one more time. Uh, we have plenty of three stars here. Yet yeah, we need four stars again. Um, I don't know if any of these factions we can actually do this. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, that's perfect. We can go one, two, three. That's good. We do anything here. We literally need just one more. We don't have one more. Great. <laughs> That's always swell. Um, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's do that one upgrade. And let's see again. Do we need, we need four stars now, right? So we might as well come back to our bag, open 12 of these up again, just see if we can make more fusions. That's good. Do it one more time. That's looking good too. Uh, do we need a six star in the shadow faction? Not really, because we already have two puppets. So I don't want to go and do that. Got a puppet here, which is good. Yeah, I don't want to make that. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want to do that. Uh, do we keep going with four star shards? Not. I mean, yeah, I guess we can. We do one more batch of these. We are making a good progress on our four-star shards, though. This is a very, very good thing. Still just you. Uh, let's go back now, do a couple summons here, and just keep going. Oh, my God. One summon? Oh, man. <laughs> this is brutal. Luckily, though, that's exactly what we needed. Um, yep, we need some three stars anyway. So, again, let's go back and do more of the summons out. We got a Dragon Slayer. All right. Can we keep going? No, we can't. All right. So, back to the drawing board. What do we need? We have plenty of you. We need... Three of you. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, but, 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 but we could get rid of some of these guys. We might just need to get rid of some three stars at this point. Because our food situation, or either that or we start working on some heroes. Well, can't really do that. <laughs> can't really do that in a lot of these factions. Um, no, I do not want to purchase. Get out of here, game. Uh, but, 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 but. I mean, I guess we could start making a nine star death sworn right like we can do that we we, we can do that we, we got this i think we might actually have enough to go right to it uh so again this is a great way to make bag space and of course it's food that we'll eventually use where is the death sworn am i blind wait a minute Am I legitimately blind here? I cannot for the life of me. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's up here. <laughs> I'm looking for the nine star version. Oh my God, guys. Trust me, it's early in the morning when I do this. Oh, we're going to need a lot of food. The one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we need to slow build it. So let's do this. I'll show you guys. Usually what I do on free to plays, as long as I know I have a game plan, like I'm not going to make a hero a 10 star, I will take it slowly and we'll slowly build this hero up. Uh, basically just taking up heroes from our bag here. Honestly, we can just summon two of you guys out. Uh, and actually, we're going to summon one of the Azriels out because we don't need him. Definitely not building him. One, two, three, four. So that's good there. Uh, we'll need three more, which again, we'll just have to slow play that. We have the six star here that we need. Man, if we can make a nine star, that'd be awesome because we could potentially get Fiona leveled up here soon. Um, not against making a six star here with our Norma. Just as food. That's good. And that's making more bag space for us um forest do we need something for us something you always have to keep track of is your puppets as well 
And yeah, that freed up a lot of space so that we can now do what? We have a lot of three stars. We do. So back to those four star shards right here. Making more space, making more space, getting more heroes. Come on, give us more fusions. This is helping us complete our monthlies. It's going to be a ton of extra gold. And what's this? Hey, more gems and more gold. I'll take both of those right now. Are we close on any of these? Not really. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one more batch. If we get an Abyss hero at the very least, I don't think we did. Oh, we did. Okay, we got one. That was close. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we still have three stars, so the proper move would be... Well, actually, no, we don't. So, yep, back to summons. We can do one more 10-bomb. So you can see why on a free-to-play account this can become very, very tedious very quickly. Because, well, bag space is, like, the number one issue on any of these types of accounts. Okay, let's check out our light and dark factions here. Can we make one? Um, we need one and one. We need one more use. We need to save those up. Um, how many of these? Five, right? Six. Nah, not really necessary. We're just making... F like, honestly, our dark stuff... Like, we might as well just chuck them into the abyss, honestly. But <laughs> as of right now, uh, we'll hold on to them. And then what we're going to do is do three stars of each faction. Just try to keep four of them that are usable as food. And the rest we will chuck and that lets us do more summons keep them coming give us those spring festival silver ingots oh my god really after all that it's just one summon oh, at least we get to do that though keep going let's keep going any more fusions e okay back to the <laughs> back to the bag again technically we could have done 10 more but i feel like that's probably not a good look for us yeah we should go back to doing more shards like honestly i'm i'm honestly tempted to just like trash everything and save like one nine star in each just for the upcoming um starry gems that we can get but i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see that's looking good there back to summons let's go we got a queen there, not too bad. I mean, any five star we do get is good because that's more progression for us. Fortress. Uh, I think I said we don't need to do that, right? Well, I mean, technically we only need what? No more heroes from here? Yeah, we don't need any more. So, yeah, that's fine, actually. We can do that. That is acceptable, and we'll do more summons. Oh, we're still full of bag space. Jeez. Well, we go back to four star shards. It looks like it. Yep, back to four star shards. So you, you just got to do this balancing act. Otherwise, there's there's just like no way we'd actually have enough three stars to open up all these four star shards. So this is the big strategy that you have to use. Just opening like 10 to 11 at a time, hoping it's enough for that. And then that should have emptied a lot of our three stars as well. I mean, granted, we still got a lot of them. So let's just use like the rest of these, honestly. We should be able to keep making a bunch, and then we'll get to a point where we need three stars again. Yep. Let's go back to summoning, because we've got 46 more to go. Bag space again. Awesome. We can do that, though, and that should give us enough three stars again, kind of. Yeah, I mean, back to four stars sounds like a good strategy, because we're almost out of them. And then we can just finish up with our three stars Almost out. Come on. One more. There we go. And then one more cashing in. And can we do a fusion, please? Oh, wait. Six stars. Oh, wait. Now we can make the nine star. Sweet. Yeah, we'll do the nine star immediately. That'll make space up. And we can just go back to doing like 10 summons at a time. <laughs> to see if we can keep making stuff. And the last one for right now should be good to go. And any fusions? Yep. We got more fusions. And we have... Force? Did I say force was okay? Yeah, force is good to go. Okay, so that is going to be a ton of gold we're about to pull out of the bag. Plus, of course, we get more heroic summoning scrolls. Ooh, we get those monster materials as well. 64 million, and we're getting more progression, which means boom, boom, boom. I'm going to keep going, I think, on... Well, I mean... We could probably get more progress from the attack, so we'll do that. But our gold is in a very, very good spot, which also means I feel confident... Ugh, 200 is a lot though. 
Granted, we're not really that close yet to, um, hmm. Let me do something first. Not you, not you, you. Uh, we're just gonna put some gear on her. I wanna get her leveled up because we're gonna actually use this hero. So I wanna make sure we use that first and then let's now go over to this. Let's quick upgrade to like maybe a one star instead. Yeah, that's a little bit more respectable. Tech attack armor break, not exactly what we want. I'll do one more. Yeah, that's definitely not what we want. Definitely not what we want. So we gotta convert. I want, I mean, that's better, but it's still not good. I don't wanna use too much gold here. I want. That's like, okay. I'd rather have the HP. Let's do like one or two more. No, no, last one. Yeah, I like that, block HP again, we'll take it. Uh, it's gonna give him more stats, which is good. Uh, I guess we can keep doing summons because we do have the space for them right now. And we might get more fusions. We got a corpse demon, that's a rare hero to find. That's good, that's good. Um. We can save all that since we don't need the space right now. Okay, so let's see where we're at on the event. Summoning prizes, 300, that's not too bad. Don't need any of those copies. What am I looking at? What am I thinking about? Got those, oh, fusions, yes, right. So we still need a few more five stars and we need a, quite a few more six stars to cash this all in. But I think right now that is a good point for us to kind of pause on the summonings and then actually, you know, what? let's make this let's make this a long episode since we do have you now built up. I wish I could get like a defensive artifact, but our luck with artifacts have been absolutely abysmal. I mean, it's, it's energy. I feel like energy might be better. We do have a lot of junk to shuck in here, so that's good. Let's just give her an energy artifact and gets her active in round one, which is giving us the most shields possible. Plus it makes uh, our homes young do the most uh, damage in round one as well from actives. Let's just use up all this fodder down here, turn it into dust so it's more accumulated in this small spot for us. Do that, all right, more time. And then we'll just finish off with this. There we go. So she has energy too. Let's see how they can do in Sea Land maybe. If we can get 19 done, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't think I want to put her in the front. I think I want to do something like this where I still put him towards the front row uh, and stagger them a bit here. We're running pretty much a straight up HP build on him. This should give us a little bit more shielding and support from the Fiona potentially. Good doves. That was actually one of the best outcomes we could possibly see here. And honestly, Fiona can break him out of CC if by chance he has like multiple CCs on him. We need to redove. Okay, that was actually, again, very optimal. Fiona does finally go down. The poisons are stacking up. Can we dove them one more time? No, they're going to take a lot of hits now. But we're starting to get tons of poison stacks on them. We did finally proc. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, this is going to be close. We're probably going to die right here. No, we didn't die. Oh, my God. I think we get the W. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. So we got that done. And can we already get C lane 20 done? If we can, that is amazing because that takes care of one of our big tasks that we've been needing to get done. Having him in the front row is good because it lets all these other fire fists get some attacks off, which is more poison. Although I don't like him proccing that early. I might push him back one more position. That or maybe I'll put the Fiona in the front. I don't know. As long as only like one of the enemies is up, we're good. But every time we do this, we need to get... Oh, that's too many people up. Yep. That's too many people up. I think what I kind of want to try is instead switching their positions up. So putting like maybe the Fiona in the front row. They can tank some hits and she'll die in round two anyway. No, that's not going to work. That that does not work to my liking. No, it does not. <laughs> Yeah, this is like worst case scenario. You never know though with doves. We could somehow pull this out of the bag. If we CC them enough. No, too many hits. All right, so let's do this. I think we need to, I mean, maybe if we do something different like this. Like, yeah, maybe two fire fists go down. But it makes it so we don't proc round one on our home's young. Or round two, I should say, really. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we're still proc them, and that's because there's not enough doves this time. You gotta keep them dove. It's the only way you're gonna survive. You can't take this many hits. I think this is the better play right here. It's putting him in the third spot. Especially since Fiona does get one tapped anyway. Uh, we got a stun off. Sadly, it's on the same target as the CC right there. Okay, we're gonna need a big round of CC here. Come on, dove everybody. Almost. I mean, two is acceptable. We can we can heal through two. And again, we need a dove. Oh, that was actually really good. That was really good because we were getting really close to proccing on bending. I think this might be a win, although rounds might be an issue now. We might not have the damage at this point. Oh, no. We have a big round of bonus poison damage, and we're going to go up to how many stacks of poison? Only five. Oh, that's not great. Six there. End of round damage. We got six stacks there. Seven. Not going to be enough poison damage. Oh, my goodness. So we can most definitely, definitely get this. We're just going to try to blast through this. Maybe we get lucky here with a victory. We do now know it's possible. Now what we really need to do, where the tankiness is there. Oh, we're so close. We're so, so close. The tankiness is here. Do we have another day on this? We do. So we're going to put this off one more day to get a little bit more powerful. Um... We need attack now. So I think what we're going to focus on at this point is working on this node. I don't think I care about upgrading the level for a little bit more poison damage. I think upgrading this guy right here is going to be the next thing I do. Uh, I mean, the other thing is if we are, I mean, we're just barely tanky enough, though. We could go to like one attack node or two attack nodes, maybe. But I think this is what we need to run. So overall, pretty successful. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. My fun to play is getting close to the end. We'll see if it takes longer than a month because we're right around that month mark right now. And I'll see you guys next time.